as these migrants continue to take over the world, they're creating new laws to stop squatters. You know what's so funny? I did a show about a month ago, less than a month ago probably, where there was a guy that was on Fox News and everybody ignored it and it was like, oh, you know, that's just wishful thinking. And I did a show where I was on Fox, where, where the guy was on Fox News and he said, hey, y'all, these squatters are learning squatters' rights. They're learning. They're evolving. They're like AI. They're learning squatters' rights. And he said, listen, not only are they coming over here and they learning on TikTok how to get here, but they also are evolving and they realizing how to get into these homes. And legally, based off of the laws that set up in the United States of America, legally be able to take over your home and live there for free. He said it. Now, this guy right here, and it's funny because I actually talked about this on the Anton Daniels channel yesterday. This guy right here is an example of it. And a lot of y'all been sending this stuff to me. And he's accumulated a ton of followers on social media, including TikTok, where he's talking about and advising people and squatters on how it is that they can go over and take over Americans' homes. They're taking over your home. Now let's look at how illegal immigrants in the U.S. are capitalizing on the leftist laws in blue states and educating others to do the same. Mi gente, he pensado invad okay, hold on, hold on. Before we get into him, because he don't even speak English, but he over here in the United States of America, walking freely on roads that you pay for with your tax dollars, all right? When you see this guy talking, does he look like a safe space? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Does this guy look like the type of person that you would run into and you walking down the street with your little puppy and your daughter holding their hands and they're over here walking around the United States of America and he don't speak English and he's talking on a phone, he's talking on his mobile device and he's telling you, hey, listen, and he's yelling like this, he that day. And he's telling the people, listen, you can come over here to America. They're not going to do nothing to you. And if you do, they will, they will, if they do something to you, then they're going to protest on your behalf. And they're going to do Brown Lives Matters. And you can come over here and you could take somebody else's property. Listen to him. Una casa en Junay State. Ya que me enteré que existe una ley que dice que si una casa no está habitada, podemos expropiarla. If a house. That's cr this is crazy. This is insane. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Listen to what he's saying. Mi gente. I have a I have a thought about. Pensado invading a house in the United States. They're saying this openly on the internet. I found out that there is a law that says if a house is not inhabited, we can seize it. Hey, I found... <laughs> How did they find this out? Who told them about the law? Who read it to him? Who gave him the insight and information? Who gave him the alley-oop in order for him to be able to dunk it? Hey, guys, I came over into America and I found out that it's a law. That if we go into a house that's not necessarily inhabited, they can be on vacation, they can be overseas. A lot of y'all passport bros think that you're going to come home and you ain't going to see a migrant that's ready to stuff you inside of the closet. Hey, guys, I found it a law. You can come over here and you can do what you want to do when you want to do it and they're going to protect you from it. And they're leveraging it. They're literally leveraging it. And so now, we always reactive. We're never proactive. They're trying to put together a law, a bill, that prevents squatters from being able to have rights. As though we shouldn't have removed that from the, bill, from the laws in the first place. This is insane. Now to a seven on your side investigation into a growing problem in the tri-state area. Squatters living in other people's homes 
all on the homeowner's dime. Now, we've told you about a few cases over the, just the past few two weeks. And it's all due to a legal loophole, a loophole that some people are working hard to close. Investigative reporter Dan Kraut joining us now with what he's found. Dan. Yeah, New York has a long history of passing laws to protect tenants from New greedy York landlords, and for good reason. But some lawmakers say those laws have gone way too far. They say Shout it out also to the allows cash dishonest people shortly. to milk the system and to get free housing for years. We've heard from homeowner. We are at the mercy of the squatter, the criminal. After homeowner. I don't have access. They changed my side locks and they changed my entire front door. Who are fighting with squatters who have taken over their homes. In New York, if you call the police on someone who moved in without permission, if they claim to be a tenant, they can't be arrested for trespassing. The homeowner instead has to take them to court. It's an unfortunate upside down world. Jake Blumenkranz is trying to change that. They know how to work the law to stay for a certain number of days and kind of work the system. In New York, squatters have rights after 30 days. That means the property owner can't change the locks on them, can't remove their belongings, can't cut off the utilities, or they could be arrested. Instead, so you got to pay for them to have utilities. If you look, look, if you cut off the utilities, and you, you say, hey, I don't want these utilities in my name. They're not even supposed to be here. And I definitely want to cut off the utilities. Do you know you could be arrested? <laughs> Do you know that if somebody walks into your property, takes over it, live there for free, and you decide to cut off the electricity and they decide to do a grow or whatever in their own name or, or in your name, and run up the electric bill, do you know that you can get arrested for cutting off the utilities? Oh, man, you got to pay for them to stay at your property. New York is a joke. Shout out to Eric Adams in New York. Dead property owners must go through the court system to get rid of them, a system that could take close to two years Jesus. for resolution. People could stay in a home for years, years, without having justice brought to them for staying essentially for free and making a homeowner uh, have to pay their bills. His newly filed bill is pretty simple. It states a tenant doesn't include squatters. You're basically <laughs> defining what a tenant is. Absolutely. And making sure that squatters can't take advantage of the law. That's all we're doing. It would mean if someone breaks into a home without permission or documents, police can have the authority to and arrest make sure them. I bash is easy. not blocked, y'all. You'd think so. out. But unfortunately, there are many people here who are trying to fight against legislation like this. Who is behind the opposition? Unfortunately, there's a lot of squatter advocates, people who think that these individuals deserve more rights than those who own property. Who's a squatter advocate? I've never heard of that before in my life. I've seen a lot of, no, I'm gonna have to review that. We, gonna, we might have to do a, another live stream uh, at some point this weekend or something. I've seen a lot of people advocate for a lot of stupid things. I've never in my life seen people advocate for squatters. Is that really a thing? Do people really advocate for squatters? They got new squatter laws over in Florida too. Look at these people. Good evening and thank you for joining us. All 50 states have what are called squatters rights. That can make it very difficult to have someone removed from your own property. But how and when these laws are enforced varies by state. The Florida lawmakers have now passed a bill to make it easier to get rid of squatters. It's House Bill 621. It authorizes property owners to request action by the sheriff's office to immediately remove them from your home. The bill passed the Florida Senate last week. Tanner Stewart is in the studio to break down this new piece of legislation and how it impacts here locally. So Bob, before the bill was signed into law, squatters are considered tenants in the eyes of the law. Now squatters will soon face criminal charges for violating what was once within their rights. 39 days, zero days, Madam President. In a unanimous decision, the Florida Senate is making it easier for property owners to rid their areas of squatters. Senator Keith Perry led the charge on House Bill 621 that allows property owners to file an affidavit showing the property doesn't belong to those who are occupying it. The bill creates stiff penalties for violators like a second degree felony for damage to a home Finally. and first degree felony for fraudulently selling or leasing the property. The sheriff's required to serve the notice and remove unwanted occupants without delay. This is an important bill if you see the stories of what happens. Let me give a round of applause for both Florida and Texas. 
seemed like Florida and Texas is just always at the forefront of setting the stage of how we supposed to do things in the United States of the Americas. Let me give uh, a round of applause for Florida immediately doing something. We can immediately remove you, but not only are we going to immediately remove you, we also going to slap you with a couple felonies to go along with it. I agree with that. Uh, it is egregious what these people are getting away with. I like that uh, word, egregious. That's one of my favorite words. WEAR has covered several squatter-ridden properties over the years, including this home on Lejeune Drive. It's since been cleaned up, but not before a months-long battle in the courts. Pensacola City Councilwoman Jennifer Brer helped find a solution here, but says the time it took was overwhelming. We still had to give them uh, notice that they were being evicted. They had to be given time, and that, I think, is shocking to the owners that someone is illegally within their home and yet they have to still go through that process. So I can see how this, this new law would really aid um, people that are in that situation. Breer says this bill is long overdue for both property owners and residents living nearby. It was affecting. Why don't they completely remove squatters rights altogether is what I'm trying to understand. Like, why don't they, is it a way for us to do away with bills? Is it a way for us to be able to do away with these with these laws and these bills that shouldn't be protecting squatters in the first place? Why do you have to create another bill in order to fight another bill, to override another bill? Why don't we just get rid of the original bill or the original law that allows for them to continue to squat in the first place and just remove them? We need to simplify the law. If you steal, somebody has the reasonable right to be able to hit your thumb with a sledgehammer in addition to going to jail. If you break into somebody's home, they don't have to wait to try to figure out if it's a threat. They just have the ability to be able to defend their home. If you squat, you can let dogs loose inside of the house, vicious pit bulls, and then let them go and find the people to see if they're supposed to be in there or not. And as they run out, I don't know what could happen. I think that the laws should be that simple. You have the right to be able to defend your home if somebody is in it however you see fit. I don't really understand. Like, that should be the law. Their sense of security, their sense of well-being, their financial aspect for people who have had someone overtake their home. The idea that they have to do do rights with a person that is essentially stealing their home is pretty overwhelming and shocking to them. The bill's now awaiting the governor's signature. Go ahead and get that signed in, DeSantis, so we can get that popping.